Tell me what do you see when you're looking at me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. In AP chemistry, in class with Mr. G. Whoa, yeah, you whoa. All I have is this weak basis conjugate salt and a constant pH. Constant pH at H plus or OH minus. But the pH will still stay the same. Buffers above. Buffers above, wow, wow. Buffers above, buffers above, buffers above, wow, wow. Listen, without chemical buffers, you will not be alive. Slight changes to blood pH would be dumb ways to die. So, what's up with buffers? Let me tell you a tale. A story about these solutions, every single detail. To calculate pH when acid or base is added, first you do some stoic, concentrations not impacted. The reaction completes, get rid of strong base or acid. Now you do some ice, the pH stays placid. But to make life easy, you can take KA. Use Henderson Hasselbeck, now you have pH. Hooray, you just learned the math, but not yet the concepts. How do buffers work? Let's add to your intellect, suppose there's a weak acid. Let's call it HA. Conjugate base A minus 0.01 as KA. When we add hydroxide, OH replaced by base. Buffer capacity large, now buffers can be embraced. Tell me what do you see in class with Mr. G? Whoa, 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 class about buffering while I'm here suffering. Whoa, yeah, whoa, all I have is this weak basis conjugate salt and a constant pH. Constant pH at H plus or OH minus, but the pH will still stay the same. Buffers above, buffers above, whoa, whoa. Buffers above, buffers above, buffers above, whoa, whoa. Chemistry, period 5, with gang club. Das Beats.